my people on my mother's father's side have, have been residents of Mississippi for five generations. So what happens here in the state of Mississippi is important to me. Okay, and by, what I mean by what happens, what happens for us politically, economically, socially, spiritually, and otherwise is important to me. One of the critical lessons that I would always impart upon anybody is that uh, you know, Chokwe was not a native of Mississippi. Uh, uh, it's from Detroit by way of really Alabama, but, but uh, it took 40 years of being in this community so people didn't know him, know his work, you know, know his moral character, know what he really was about for that to even have any real shot, you know, any real opportunity. So it takes, if you're going to try to do something that has all these facets to it, you better get prepared in some sense for a long, long fight. We, we had a huge loss with um, the, 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 the untimely passing of the mayor, but because what we do is integral to the movement, we've continued. We could have just totally collapsed and not even continue with planning of the Jackson Rising Conference, but we did. How many people who were, who, you know, of, of my ancestors who struggled on the plantations in this state would have liked to have the opportunity that we have now, you know, hundred something years ago, and uh, you know, they complained and they knew it was going to come to not. I can complain and make something happen. Rolling up your sleeves and putting in your um, hours of work to make something happen. I think we have an opportunity here in Jackson and in Mississippi as a whole to really do some things that are innovative that's not necessarily new, but something that's new to some of us because we haven't seen it done in a long time with these cooperatives in a way that, you know, can actually raise the standard of living for the state uh, as well as the city. And I heard something, and I, I want to quote him, Tango Elson Martin, he's a poet that moved here. And he said, you know, we're not in Mississippi because it's the place of most need. We're not in Mississippi because it's, you know, uh, the worst in every, you know, standard of living category. We are in Mississippi because here we are strong.